Hi guys, this is Chris. Today I'm going to show you how to use V8 sound card and its different functions. Let's start. So this is V8 sound card. As you can see, it has a lot of functions. And uh, these are the ports. And where you will go, um, you will plug in your microphone, your phone, your laptop, and uh, your instruments and charger. So uh, this costs around 10 to 15 dollars. Uh, mine is specifically 50 dirhams. I bought it for 50 dirhams plus the delivery charges. And if we're going to convert that into dollars, that will be around 30 to 15 dollars. And this comes with three types of cords. The one which is a micro USB. For those who don't know about micro USB, if you're going to compare it with the charger of other phones, you can see that uh, I, I have an example here. This one is for iPhone. This one is the oblong one, uh, the one which you know have an oblong shape at the end, which is mainly used for some Android phones. Like let's just compare it all. So this in the middle is the one which is used for most Android Android phones. And the same one which uh, can be used for our V8 sound card. So if you can, let's compare it. Uh, if you can see it's only the same. But never mind the iPhone jack. So uh, the other two cords which comes with the package is the one with the micro USB plus the auxiliary. So yeah, this is, I think this is the 3.5 millimeters aux. You have two sets of that, so maybe in case if this one is damaged, then you can have this or for different functions, which I will explain later. So we're going to set up. What we have here is uh, what we call condenser mic. So we're going to connect it to the sound card. Our sound card to the condenser mic. We need to uh, plug the cord here in this hole which is uh, labeled as condenser mic so that hole is around the size of uh, the one which I showed earlier so this is uh, mostly used in your typical headphones Android headphones so it's the same size as that 3.5 millimeters so it fits just fine and uh, you we're going to use the cord which is which comes with the condenser mic that I bought so we have the 3.5 millimeters plus the one which is going to be plugged in the mic this one has three holes so this is the cord basically the cord which is used for our condenser mic so let's start and of course you want that sound to come to your laptop or to your phone or to your cameras that's where the auxiliary cord is going to be used so the micro usb will be plugged into live one or two depends whether you want number one or number two so of course i want number one and then i'm going to plug it in to my recording uh, device And, uh, open the camera and we're going to go to the camera of course and click video and start recording so for recording we have to turn the power on of course but first reminder is that we cannot turn it on with the mic plug in so we have to remove it to avoid damaging our microphone so turn it on power just press it hold it for one to two seconds then your power is on then it's time to plug the mic again so there you have it and that is the different factors so guys now i'm, I'm still using the mic so first I'm connected to the microphone so guys if you notice we sounded like somebody stuck inside the fish tank so we have to resolve that problem so in order to resolve that we're going to use a power supply what we have here is our phantom power 48 volts so we are going to connect it into our sound card and to our microphone 
So this may be called the power supply but it doesn't really have its own power. So we can see this is turned on but there's no light. Turned on, off. So there's no, not really any kind of power or electricity here. So you have to turn it on of course, you have to plug it to a power supply. You can use any kind of uh, battery which has a uh, USB socket on that. So we're, I'm going to plug it in here. Or maybe you can also use your charger. Anything is okay. As long as it gives power here. And uh, this, uh, the job of the power supply is to regulate the electricity. To make sure it only has 48 volts. And after that, I'm going to remove the cord from our mic. Uh, take note, this is the one which we used to connect in our microphone earlier. So we're going to connect it into our phantom power. It will be connected in the output. Okay. So let's connect it. Kind of difficult with the camera on. Make sure you have the this kind of cord. So this cord looks like this on the each end. So I put this in my in. So I have to push this. It's difficult with the other hand on the mic okay and this one will be connected to our condenser mic now that I have connected the phantom power to our microphone and our sound card we're going to try how our microphone sounds now so hello mic test one two three mic test one two three so I'm if you can see I'm pretty much close to the microphone and I'm going to try speaking a little bit harder. Hello, my test one to be. My test one to be. Hello, my test one. So the sound quality was much more better this time, and uh, I even tried to speak from a distance. So now we're going to discuss about the functions of our sound card. So guys, I'm going to show you the company instrument function of our sound card. So this is that port. In the beginning, I used an adapter to connect my guitar here with the pickup. But uh, the problem is there's, there's no enough power to connect to my guitar. So there was no sound coming. This is commonly used with a phone. So you can play any instrument from your phone and connect it here. We're going to connect our aux, the extra one, to a company instrument. And plug the other side to our phone. Let's plug in. We're going to try playing a song. So that is how we use our company instrument. So guys, now I'm going to try to reduce the volume in the music. So here, so this is the indicator. So I'm going to uh, reduce it. So now, if you can hear it, the sound is uh, kind of uh, low, the volume is low. And I'm going to increase it again. And decrease it. So if you notice, uh, there is an option to adjust the volume for your accompany instrument, uh, which is the phone. That's the music. So you can also use your guitar or any other instrument which you can plug in. But as I've said earlier, there was no enough power in this port which makes it possible for your guitar to be heard in the sound. So I hope that helped you. That pretty much explains 
about the features of our sound card. Now I'm going to try to sing and uh, play the guitar at the same time so you can justify whether you can use the same setup. Um, take note, our guitar is not plugged in to our sound card. So there is no connection between the guitar and our sound card. So I'm going to rely on our microphone. Come up to meet you and tell you I'm sorry You don't know how lovely you are The distance between our mic and our guitar is like that So this is our guitar, this is our microphone So guys, I can say that uh, our recording uh, worked quite well for our condenser mic but not for the guitar so guys uh, through that we can say that uh, the sound card really works for the condenser mic but not for the guitar uh, for the guitar we need it to be connected to our sound card there is actually a work around on that if uh, a company instrument doesn't work then you can use the pick up of the guitar and connect it to the mic port of our sound card so we will try it now uh, take note guys, this is not advisable, again it might damage your sound card but if you don't have a choice and since it's only around the $13 sound card for beginners it might work and uh, it's okay, right? I mean sound cards usually they cost around uh, $300 and uh, we, what we have here is a $13 sound card so you might consider if you're just beginning in recording your songs you might consider on connecting your guitar on the sound card part which is for the microphone so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect the condenser mic I'm going to connect the condenser mic to the dynamic mic because it, uh, the quality is better so I'm going to use this cord and uh, connect it Use it to connect my microphone to the dynamic mic port. So guys, for that I'm going to use this uh, cord. This is a six, uh, I think it's a six point five or six millimeters. And uh, the same uh, end which has uh, three holes in it. So we're going to replace the cord which we used earlier for our condenser mic. So this is the cord which has to be replaced. If you can see, uh, this was plugged into the condenser mic part, which is the smaller one. So let's put some light on that. Okay. okay. So uh, we recently plugged here, so the smaller uh, um, cord. So now we're going to plug the mic into the dynamic mic because the the reason is uh, there is much more uh, 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 quality the sound if we try here that is based from experience and I'm going to remove it here oh, sorry. so it's this one so I removed the cord which we used earlier and uh, replaced it with the other one So now our mic is uh, directly connected to the dynamic mic port and now what I'm going to do for the guitar is I am going to connect the guitar okay so here is our guitar pickup it's connected to my guitar here so I'm going to connect it to our condenser mic port so that so big this one is big so I'm going to use an adapter so I have I, I bought this from Amazon it's around the, it's, it's only cheap it's around uh, I think around three dollars three to five dollars so just use that and plug it into the condenser mic port so again guys uh, this is not advisable but uh, for beginners uh, it can be done uh, the the only downside to this uh, 
practice is that uh, your sound card might get uh, damaged because the feed from the guitar is uh, the input from the guitar is uh, too much for the dynamic mic uh, port to handle this is uh, this port is supposed to be used for mic only not for guitar um, the ideal uh, the ideal setup is to once again the ideal setup is to plug in your guitar here in a company instrument but uh, as I said earlier there's not uh, enough power on our V8 sound card uh, that uh, it made it uh, impossible for our guitar to be heard in the sound card so now we're going to uh, record again and try the uh, work around setup so I'm going to test the mic now hello mic test one two three mic test one two three so this is our condenser mic connected to the dynamic mic port and now I'm going to try to play our guitar so it's the same distance as before I'm going to try to play a song sing a song and play the guitar That is uh, the recording of our uh, work around. So again, uh, in the earlier video, I showed you the ideal way and the correct way on how to connect and set up your sound card. And I also showed you how to make the correct uh, solutions like using our quantum power with our microphone and our sound card to increase the quality, the sound quality of our microphone. But we found out that our guitar doesn't work and uh, it doesn't work with the microphone that we have. So the, uh, what I showed you just now is just a work ar around because what we are using right now is a cheap sound card which costs around $13. So um, uh, for beginners, this work around might work. Once again guys, uh, if you find, find this video helpful, just, uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, hit like on the bottom. Thank you.